What's up, my dog dash gang? What's up, my dog dog gang? This is your boy, Kingfish, a.k.a. Big Al, coming at you with another video. All right, guys, we having a camera problem. My camera stand is not working properly because I dropped that sucker yesterday or the day before yesterday, and that don't stick. All right, guys, we at Dunkin' Donut. <laughs> you know we got to get that coffee. You know, guys. I got to get it in. The wife is back in town. She is in Orlando. My daughter is picking her up. So when she get in, we're going to dash. <laughs> we're going to spend our quality time dashing. Got to get that money, guys. I haven't got anything from Postmate yet. We run a Postmate and Grubhub right now. I haven't got any orders. Don't have any orders. I'm trying to talk proper. That's not me. So guys, we're gonna try to get some orders from either Postmate or Grubhub till the wife you get here. Um, I'm gonna dash later on. I'm gonna dash till the wheels fall off today, guys. I gotta get that money, man. You gotta get it today. We way behind. I'm off work today, so I'm not Coca-Cola today. So I got Thursday, Friday, and Saturday to make some money. And like I said, guys, my school is um, back in section. Session. Mm. My school is back, guys. We're going to be all right. Shout out to Tampa 23. Thank you for watching all the videos from my day one videos. I know you see the difference. Back then I was making video guys, I, I wasn't as confident as I was now because it was the first time recording. You know, I'm a type of person, I don't even take pictures guys, to be honest with you. Me and the wife here, we gotta start taking pictures. I don't know, I just never was like to be in front of a camera until I met you guys. Y'all guys, with y'all comments and you know, starting to do it every day build up your confidence and um those that's doing dash alongs when y'all um recording that and, and if you're new at it just be yourselves man just let your personality come through once you get an audience you'll be okay but you got you got to let your personality come through and we got some people guys it's good to see my um subscribers out there doing the ride alongs man i enjoyed it uh let me pull you up I'm gonna put you on blast, baby girl. Uh, sad day yesterday, guys. We ain't get no order from Grubhub. Maybe we get some orders today, guys. I don't know. Maybe we would get some today. I gotta hold my camera, guys, for a second. All right. I'm gonna wait till I get to a light. Ah. Hope everybody's well out there this morning. I thank God for waking me up. Let me touch this ground. So I hope everybody's well. Hope everybody's feeling good. Because today is Happy Thursday. Hump day was yesterday for a lot of people. But hump day for me is today. Because I got the hump today, guys. I'm at zero dollars right now. Girl Hub is only slow because I don't have a block. Uh, I'm trying to find out the person so I can shout them out. Uh, I already shouted out. Um, Tampa 23, I appreciate you. Was it Tampa T23? That was close. Hopeful Bound. I enjoyed watching your videos yesterday, baby girl. Keep doing what you're doing. Let me see some personality come through that camera, girl. I enjoyed watching your video. And I'm going to shout you out and we're going to send people over there to your page so you can get this audience. 
guys, ladies, if you want to see how, I know you see how I do it, but if you want to see how the ladies do it, go over to Hopeful Bound. She's in the, um, she's on my page. Just click on her name and it'll take you to her page. So please subscribe, guys. It don't, it don't cost anything to subscribe. If you get a chance, check her out. Baby girl doing her thing. She doing her dash along. It's good. It makes me feel good to see my subscribers doing their thing, guys. You know, it ain't fun being behind the camera, but once you get used to it, guys, you'll be all right. It's all about that paper. <laughs> Shout out to Mom Deuce. He's watching the video, man. So, I got to watch my mouth. Cause moms don't play, guys. I'm 47 years old. I never cussed in front of my mom. If it slipped out, I ducked. <laughs> Mom got a mean right, guys. You know when um, who was it? Kendrick Lamar said his his left hook or right hook went viral. My mom got a slap that go viral. Guys, I gotta tell you, it's a shame when you've been slapped one time by your mom and you still feel it 47 years later. So I gotta tell y'all this story, guys. I come from a wonderful family, guys. We not perfect, but we got a lot of love for each other. When I was a kid, my mother sent me over to one of her friends' house. Her name was Miss Amita. Never forget the name. I loved the family. It was the Pope family. And she told me to ask Miss Amita. This is what my mother said. Guys. And I want y'all to, this, this has been a 47-year debate. This is what my mother said to me. She said, Alan, I said, yes, mom. She said, go over Miss Amita house and tell her that Delina said, that's my mother's name, Delina, said, do, she, do you have any sugar? Do she have any sugar? Well, can she get some sugar? Okay. I walked all the way across the street. They live directly in front of us. So I walked all the way across the street and I said to Miss, Di Miss Amita exactly what my mother said. I said, Miss Amita, Delina said, do you have any sugar? She said, no. Okay. I walked back home, guys. I walked through the door. My mother said, where's the sugar? I said, Miss Amita said she didn't have no sugar. So she said, what did you say? I said, I said, Delina said, before I could say, said, said, she had slapped me. <laughs> I'm holding my face. Cause she slapped me guys, I swear my head went around one time. I'm holding my face. And uh I said and she looked at me, she said, You don't you don't call me by my first name. And I'm saying to myself, I'm a little kid and I done got knocked silly. You know I had to step three or four feet back so I don't get slapped again. She slapped me silly and I'm like, what did I do wrong? So it took me about 25 years to 30 years to figure out what I did wrong. But she told me, she said, you don't call me by my name. But she told me, I said exactly what she told me to say. So apparently Miss Amita didn't know my mother's real name. I don't know, but I got slapped. She ain't never had to worry about that no more. So whenever my mother asks me to do something, I go to them, I just say my mom. And they say, well, who's your mom? I'm scared to tell them my name, God. I wouldn't tell them my name. I'm like, you know my mom. You know, and then once they figured out, we was good. Cause I wasn't gonna say my mother uh, name, God. Oh no, not no more. She never had that problem. Mm -mm. My mom had a, a vicious, I didn't even see it coming, guys. If you could see a snap coming, you could prepare for it. But when you don't see it coming, God, how can you prepare for it? So shout out to mom for knocking my head around twice. I felt like the little girl on Exorcist. She just, my hair just spun around. You know, you know it hurt when you do this, guys. I think I cried about a half an hour later because I was still in shock. But shout out to Mom Deuce, guys. She's a wonderful mother. Very, very God fearing woman. Don't play. Love the Lord. And all she wanted to do, guys, all she wants from us, her kids, is for us to get right with God. So we can, you know, get a whooping when we get to heaven. <laughs> hey, guys, I got to tell you, guys, I love my mom to death, guys. My mom, she cooked. She cooked for anybody, guys. She she cooked for the whole wide world she can. 
But I know when my mom get her wings, man, they're going to have problems up there with her. I'm going to be up there trying to dash. But my mom's going to be up there trying to cook for everybody, guys. I'm telling you now. They're going to have to set my mom down, guys. God's going to have to shut the kitchen down because mom's going to be in that kitchen trying to cook, guys. She make wonderful food, guys. They kind of make you lick your fingers. <laughs> All right, guys, enough about my mom, guys. I don't have a subject, guys, but since I'm talking about my mom, guys, if you love your mom, man, shout her out on the video, man. She's still living. Make sure you shout her out. If she not, may she rest in peace. Our heart goes out for you, you know. So comment in the video how much you love your mother or have you ever been slapped by your mother for saying her name. <laughs> Alright guys, I had to de dedicate this video to my mom, guys. So if you ever had been slapped by your mom, guys, comment it. Comment. Because I still feel mine today, guys. I make sure I open the door for women. A woman can be a mile away, guys. If, if she coming to that door, I'm standing there holding it. I'm not getting slapped by my mom no more, guys. Alright guys, I'm going back to the Batman cage. I'm going to try to get an order. Hopefully this become a ride along or dash along instead of a talk along. All right, guys. So I hope y'all enjoy that story because it's a true story. My mother lit me up, guys. I cried a half an hour later because she hit me so hard I was in shock. I couldn't get the vocals out. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm going in here and watch Serena Williams play some Wilmington. Hope I get an order. If not, guys, I will be back to close this video out. All right, guys, see you in a minute. All right, guys, we just got a Postman order. Uh, let me show you what it looked like because it's just totally different from a Grubhub and what you call it. On a Postmate, you see that little truck? That's me right there, guys. <laughs> it looked like a little, uh, you know, one of them little moving trucks, but we couldn't put a car. They put a moving truck. But we're going to Starbucks. I don't know how much it's for. Let's see if I can get some information. Okay. I don't know how much it's for. I didn't look. Really don't care, guys. When you ain't making no money, you don't care how much it's for. Shoot. I'm going to get this money. I don't care how much it's for. So we're going to go get this Starbucks order. And we're going to be on our way. I'll be back. Yeah. Yeah, you good. No. Nah, but you good though. Alright. I'm back, guys. I got the maintenance man coming over. Oh. Oops. Alright guys, I'm happy. <laughs> Turn right I'm gonna on get North this Me and my GPS we made up, guys. Shout out to Serena Williams. She look like she's about to go to the finals. There you go. Don't let no baby stop your dream, guys. Shoot, all these babysitters out here, they got apps now. Come pick your baby up. I don't trust an app. <laughs> Boy, I tell you, man. If they had this stuff back in the day, guys, oh my God, I probably wouldn't have got no whooping. My family love to go get that money. My mother had me. I remember when my mother worked at the Lemon Tree Inn. That was a. That was a, a, a hotel and in, in, um, I think it was in Chaco Winity. That's a messed up name, any guy. We had a place in North Carolina called Chaco Winity. <laughs> but anyway, see, like I said, guys, my mother, I mean, my father helped me get my work ethic by not paying for my basketball shoes, but my mother instilled it in me because when I was a little kid, in 1, feet, I would go to work with her. It wasn't because she didn't have a babysitter. I don't think that was the reason why, but it could have been, I don't know. But she would take me to work and she would show me how to make up a bed. I don't even make my own bed up, but she <laughs> I tried, guys. I can't make my bed up like my wife, man. She made the bed perfect. I, I just throw the sheets on and I'm done. She do it with Turn no reason. But Avenue. my mom used to take me to work with her and she, you know, she showed me how to, you know, she instilled my work ethic. She showed me how to work at an early age. You know, follow direction. I did everything she asked me to do. I remember, guys. I tell you, my mom. My mom was no joke, guys. My mom gave me twenty dollars one time, guys. This is no. This is no lie. This is a true story. So I worked with my mom one day, guys, at Lemon Tree Inn, Lemon Lemon Tree Inn, the hotel. 
We was making beds. My mom was a house cleaner, keeper, whatever. She gave me $20. That was my pay. I guess that was for the whole week. I don't know. But you know me. Man, I found a... See, we used to have a young lady or uh, a woman that sold penny candies, right? One piece of candy costs a penny. Man, I went there. My $20. Hooked me up. A woman gave me all that candy, man. Boy, my mother was pissed. She took... <laughs> she, <laughs> she made me take a lot of that candy back. Well, I spent $20. I want I, I think I got two... I don't know how much candy it was. I think the woman just took my $20 and gave me a bunch of candy. My mother wasn't having it. But yeah, guys. Penny candy. Oh, my God. And I spent $20 on nothing but penny candy, guys. And my mother was... I think I got a whooping. I, yeah, I believe I got... I think my mother whooped my tail, guys. I do believe. And she made me take the candy back. <laughs> I couldn't do no right, guys. I could do all the wrong, but I couldn't do no right. Shout out to moms, guys. Yeah. She paid me my money for working with it. And then she going to tell me how to spend my money. I guess I was a little kid, guys. I don't know how old I was. I don't even remember. I, I was real young. I do know that. But I know one thing. I know how to spend money. I know how to save it now. I know how to spend money. All right, guys. That's enough talking. I'm gonna go get this Starbucks. See you in a second. Oh, guys, I forgot to tell you if you never did Postmate before. Postmate is different from the other apps. You have a checkoff list. You got to go in and check off each one of these items saying that the customer got it, that they have it. And uh, that's how you do Postmate, guys. It ain't like um, DoorDash where you just, you everything is on one page, you just hit and then you swipe. But this one, you got to check off that you got that, you got this, and you got that. So that, that's good to know, guys. All the apps are basic, basically the same. They just have different functions. Like, if you do Uber, if you did Uber Eats, you can do anything. If you do DoorDash or Grubhub, you can do anything. So the apps are self-explanatory. I think I said that right. <laughs> All right, guys, we almost here. Yeah, I just want to point that out for somebody that's doing Postmate. It's not going to let you go to the next step unless you select all the items that you're supposed to get. I got to order it. Postmate is, is like um, DoorDash. You get a credit card, so you have to order it. So I got to place the order, and then uh, we're going to get it, guys. All right, see you in a second. All right, guys, I'm back. So look, with the um, Postmate is a little different because on your receipt, uh-oh, hold on. Oh my God, man, hold on guys. I gotta replace this, I'll be right back. All right guys, one of the items was missing, so they wanna replace it with some bananas. So I, I got us some bananas. I paid for that myself. All right guys, with Postmate, you gotta take a picture of the receipt and send it in. You gotta put the amount of the receipt. Then you gotta take a picture of the receipt. All right, guys, so I did all that. I saved the receipt. Now we're going to go drop this off. Let's get started. Drive safely. Damn, they're only one if minute away. Feet, <laughs> turn right on East Fletcher <laughs> Avenue. Oh, Jesus. And turn left. Where's I'm going? Okay. The preserve at temp temperatures. Okay. All right, wherever I'm going at, y'all, it's only a minute away. So I probably made $3 off this order. <laughs> but it's money. Back on the road in no time. Visit progressive.com to quote today. <sighs> I'm 
curious to see how much disorder is, guys. But let me tell you something, guys. And here's the thing, guys. This, people don't like to hear this, guys. I'm sorry, MG. People don't like to hear this, guys. But it doesn't. If, if you're in the food business and your job is to pick up people's food, I know you want to be selective. Turn left on Park Edge Drive. What the? In 400 feet. Hold on. Turn now. left on Sanctuary Cove Court. My GPS got me confused. So I'm going straight ahead. Oh Jesus! I was right across the street. <laughs> but anyway, guys, we in the business. We we chose this business to make deliveries, right? Now here's my thing. Everybody want the big orders, but nobody want to do the small orders. But in order to make money, guys, the small orders add up. The, mo the small order, mm, yeah, the small orders add up. One, two, nine, four, two. Okay, let's see if we can find this. Yeah, all I had to do is go across the street. Shoot, I could have saved my gas and walk. But guys, to make money, guys, you got to do what they ask you to In do. In seven hundred feet, turn right on Everything Sanctuary Cove Drive. As up. Okay. 12942. I'm going the wrong way. Let's see if it go down. Yeah. Oh, shoot. I don't care how much it is, guys. I'm doing it. It could be $3. It could be $4, $5. If it comes through my app, I'm going to do it. Because at the end of the day, like I said, guys, we work for a bottom line. We work for Turn right on the Sanctuary end. Cove Drive. Stop telling me what to do. So I'm curious to see how much this order is. In 500 guys. feet, turn right on Sanctuary Cove Drive. Okay, we way back here. I just want to please my customer, guys. I don't care how much it is, because like I said, guys, good customer service is hard to come by. Turn right on Sanctuary Cove Drive. And sometimes if you give good customer service, guys, you be rewarded with a nice old tip. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. I think I'm here. 942. Okay, that's 904. It's hot today. I'm curious to see how hot it is in Tampa, guys. I can't leave my camera in the window. In a quarter of a mile. It's going to get too Turn hot. Right on Sanctuary Cove Drive. All right, I'm heading in the right direction. All right, guys, we're going to deliver this food. Guys, I'll be right back. All right, guys, that went well. Just dropped it off. It was right, around, right across the street. Deliver the customer. Completed drop off. Okay. I made four dollars before tip. <laughs> well, I tell you, boy. <laughs> uh, I just enjoy what I do, guys. I made four dollars, and then if they tip. And they tip, guys. But I didn't go that far, guys. Can't wait till the wifey get home so I can start door dashing, guys. Phew. That was it. Shut up. Feet, turn left on Sanctuary Cove Drive. Let me check. Check my health real quick. Okay. Well, guys, I made four dollars. <laughs> I was just waiting on the tip right now, guys. <laughs> well, guys, at least y'all got a chance to see one um, one order. But that was Postmate, guys. For Postmate, guys, I found that you get a dollar for the order, dollar for pickup, dollar for drop off, something else. You get a dollar for something else. Thank the mouth. But all my, every order I've done for Postmate been $4 in Tampa, guys. I don't know. 
If it's if you get more than four dollars, y'all let me know. Is it worth turning on the app? No. But when you ain't making no money, it is. Come on, duck. I got BJ. I got wait for you to get across the street too. Come on, duck. Guys, I love animals. Don't get me wrong, but this duck gonna stop and look at me like, okay, what you gonna do? I tell you, man. I got it bad today, guys. I just made four dollars. I had a duck in my way. I talked about my mom's. Hope I don't get a whooping. Guys, I'm 47 years old. My mother still to this day will whip my tail. <laughs> and I still to this day will cry before she hit me. <laughs> Alright guys, check it out, man. I'm gonna dash with the wifey later on. Uh, you know I don't record with her. So with that being said, guys. I'm glad we able to do one order. But this is your boy, Kingfish, a.k.a. Big Owl. I'm out, guys. If you're dashing, keep dashing. If you're grubbing, keep grubbing. If you're not dashing, you're not grubbing. You better get yourself some dashing grub, man. Peace. I love you, ma.